Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Nationality, my brother. You black. Now, you know black is a, is a color. You understand? So if we want to get on the plane to go somewhere to travel to where your country is, to who your nationality is, can I go to the land of black? See what I'm saying? It doesn't make any sense. I asked another brother, he asked, he said he was African American. That's two different continents, two different white men. African, Africa is one continent, America is another. How can, we, how can we be from two different continents? You see what I'm saying? It doesn't make any sense. So who are we? In the white hat. Did you know you was an Israelite, bro? See what I'm saying? We try to tell our bring good news to our people, and all they do is keep walking. And it's no surprise. What you got there? Is that more on that? More on that. I'll read. That ye should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. The Bible says we're supposed to be praising his holy name. We're supposed to be praising him for who we are. He said we are a holy nation. We are a chosen people. We are a peculiar people. And he said because of that, we should be praising his name. And because he brought us out of darkness. What is darkness? Sin. He brought us out of sin into his marvelous light. That marvelous light is his laws, his statutes, and his commandments. That's what he has done. You understand? And our people are not trying to hear it. But it's no surprise our people are not trying to hear this. Because the Bible said they were going to hear it. Give me that in Isaiah 30. Uh, give me Isaiah 31. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 1. And then jump down to 9. All right? I'm going to show you why the Bible says we don't hear it. Watch this. The Bible, hey, the most our God knows us better than we know ourselves. Because he made us. That's why it don't surprise us when we come out here and try to bring the word of God to our people. And they walk past. I'm okay. I'm good. I don't need that. I don't want to hear that. It ain't no surprise. We ain't surprised by that. The Bible ain't no one's like God ain't surprised by that. You got that? Yes, sir. Read it. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, and verse 1. Bring it out. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord. You see that? The most high says, Woe to the rebellious children. Do you know the most high know how we are? Do you know the most high know says that we are a rebellious people? He said, Woe to the rebellious people. The rebellious children. The Israelites, the black man, Hispanic man, and Native American. Woe is going into destruction. That's what woe is. Watch this. I'm asking, I'm asking brother here a question. How you doing, my brother? Fair play, how you doing? I'm doing good, my brother. What's your name, my brother? Keith. Keith. Hey, Keith, let me ask you a question. If I asked you what's your nationality, what you going to tell me, Keith? Because you're an older gentleman. You've been around a minute. It's like I have. So I asked you an honest question. and not trying to be funny or anything like that, I'm asking an honest question because I'm going to show you how we are destroyed in our minds as the people. So what's your nationality, my brother? You're black. Now you know black is a, is a color. You understand? So if we want to get on the plane to go somewhere to travel to where your country is, to who your nationality is, can I go to the land of black? See what I'm saying? It doesn't make any sense. I asked another brother, he asked, he said he was African American. That's two different continents, two different white men. African, Africa is one continent, America is another. How can, we, how can we be from two different continents? You see what I'm saying? It doesn't make any sense. So who are we? Who are we? Talk to me. You say it again? We are God's shoulders people. We are, that, and that much is true. But guess what? In order for you to, watch this. Uh, Finish that, finish it. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. You see, that's what the scripture says, woe to the rebellious children. He's talking about the so-called black man, Hispanic man, and Native American. He's talking about the 12 tribes of Israel. That's what he's talking about when he says the rebellious children. What? He said, and they take counsel, but not of me. His counsel is this Bible. That's what the counsel is. 
but we don't listen or take heed to this Bible. We don't. But not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. And that's exactly what we do. Because when they walk past him, we tell a brother or a sister, hey man, hey sis, you got to repent. Because the kingdom of God is at hand. We out here for our people because we love you. We're telling you, you're an Israelite, you got to keep God's commandments. They do what? Oh, I don't need that, I'm good. And they keep walking. So what they do? They add sin upon sin. Because once they leave here, they ain't going to do nothing holy. You understand that? They're going to do something to commit sin, right? Uh, give, me, uh, give, me, I'm almost, give me that uh, Revelation 22, 14. Watch this. Now, this is the last book of the Bible. The last book of the Bible. Watch this. This is how you get the kingdom. One of the ways of getting the kingdom. Well, it's only one way. Through Christ. Watch this. Watch this. And this is going to confirm what we're saying here today. Watch this. The book of Revelation chapter 22 and verse 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Blessed are they that do what? That do his commandments. The most I says, blessed are they that do his commandments. How you doing, sis? How you doing, my brother? You get a picture taken? You got a video? You know who you are according to the Bible? I was just bringing out to my brother right here. Do you know who you are according to the Bible? You're the king? Are you a God on earth? All right, so then you, by you knowing that, what you got to do to, to get there? Are you doing that? I, be honest with yourself. You, to the best of your ability. So you need support. You need support. How you get support? You get support by being about like-minded people. You understand what I'm saying? Who's keeping that commandment? You see these brothers in the purple and gold with fringes on? We're keeping the commandments. We're commandment keepers. And that's what you that's what you need to associate yourself with. You understand that? Well, let me finish this. Read that again from the top. Watch this. What's your name? Nathaniel. Nathaniel, listen to this. Listen to this. Watch this. That's right. Oh, you know about him? Okay, okay. Okay, okay, I'll praise it. I'll praise it. I'll praise it. Watch this. Read. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gate into the city. You see that? Blessed are they that do his commandments. One of his commandments is we have to grow our beard. Now you got your beard. I see you growing your beard. Don't shave it. You can you can trim it, but don't shave it. You understand that? No. Well you can you can you can you can trim it, but you can't cut into it. You understand that? Another commandment is wearing your fringes. You understand that? Where your fringes at, bro? You say you've been following us. But where did I'm not I see you ain't got them. Okay, okay, okay. That's that's correct. All praise to the most high. All praise to the most high. So now you on the right path. How you doing, my brother? We're bringing out our nationality according to the Bible. Do you know that a lot of our aged men have failed our people? But and it's not only it's not purposely because you all didn't know. I didn't know. Give me that Titus uh two. Two. Give me that Titus 2 2. You started two. Because not only our aged men, but our aged women also have failed our people. And see, if we got enough brothers in the community that's keeping God's commandments, and we out here like these churches, because you got 50 churches on every corner. So we got brothers on out here teaching God's commandments out here, infiltrating the neighborhood. Guess how many people could possibly repent? Guess how much crime will go down? You hear what I'm saying? Watch this. Watch this. The book of Titus, chapter 2, and verse 2. That the aged man be sober, faith. That the aged man be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, in patience. The aged woman like. Watch this. Read again from the top. That the aged men be sober. That the aged men be sober. That's not going on. In, hold on, bro. Come on, where you going? Where you going? You heard, you heard that aged man. You heard that aged man. <laughs> you know, hey, listen. Bro, let me show you something what the Bible says. I, now, you ain't got to feel bad about that because, you know, at one time, we was all the same way. We, at one time, we was all the same way. Give me that 3-9 real quick. Tiny 3-9, you're right there. At one time, we was all the same way. It, 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 this is not about putting nobody down. This is about bringing truth, bringing truth to life. You understand that? Hey, you know what? Sometimes the truth hurts. It's good medicine. Watch this, read that. Is that what it says? 3 3. 3 3. Yeah, no, no, no. 3 3. 3 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 3 3. Titus chapter 3 and verse 3. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. You see that? We ourselves were sometimes foolish. So we're not up here trying to ridicule nobody or anything like that. I mean, the scripture just got through cutting. That's all it did. It already did. I mean, and that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Right. That, that's it. 
That's why we get punished. When I not but there you go. So now you quoting you quoting the scripture, but to quote it and not do it is a totally different thing. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is you. And finally, my brother, be strong.